like you said, it's a self-directed community on both sides, the adults and children. And so figuring out your place is a challenge. That's something I've observed in other free schools. Uh, I actually worked at the village free school for, for a year. So like they had interns that would come for a certain amount of time and, mm -hmm. and the interns would have a really hard time figuring out, you know, what to do, <laughs> you know, how to, how to mm -hmm. be of value in the community. We have one of those currently. Um, he's been slotting in oh, great. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been a real blessing, I feel like, in the community as far as figuring out what to do. He has sort of stepped in right mm. now. He's working on a project that he just, he, he took a lengthy walk there around the school, noticed that outside there was a fish tank that our chickens were preoccupying, but wasn't really used. So he's like, hey, I'm going to set up this fish tank. Mm. It, it really, the measures of success of adults in our community is that they're driven and that they are wanting to get involved in stuff. So, and, and wanting students to, to get involved in stuff. It doesn't have to be compelling. And essentially, if no one was interested, then he might not do it. Um, so it can be a real test of ego. Right, right. But just putting yourself out there is, is an important part, I think, to it. He wanted to see first if anyone was interested. So he went to school meeting and started a discussion around starting a fish tank. And it turns out people were interested. So then he took off on that. Um, so that's sort of how things work also. After a brief interruption. It left off, you were talking about the fish tank being established. Right. So one of the most important lessons that staff or adults in the model go through is what ego hits look like. And that kids don't want to learn from us just because we're adults. They don't want to learn from us just because we're extraordinary. And that's okay. And we need to be okay with that. And I mm -hmm. think a lot of adults have a hard time with that because they feel as though we're adults. So that sets us apart from kids, but it really doesn't. Kids are fine, self-directed and doing their own thing. And oftentimes what they want to do is doing their own thing. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg. 